G'day, welcome to another curriculum burst. Here's an interesting high school question in algebra. It goes as follows. Suppose x is twixt negative 2 and negative 4, and y is between 2 and 4. What is the largest possible value of x plus y over x? OK, OK, I feel I can handle this. x is between negative 2 and negative 4. So negative 4 is less than equal to x is less than negative 2. And y is between 2 and 4. All right. Um, and I want to make this as big as possible. Well, normally the way to make something big, in a fraction, I guess, is make the numerator as big as possible and the denominator as small as possible. But the denominator is x, which is always negative. So I guess I want x to be negative 2, or do I want x to be negative 4? Hmm. Um, the numerator, uh, well, that could be positive or negative. It could even be 0. I mean, I could have 3 and negative, uh, 3, and negative 3, for example. So it could be 0. I guess I want this to be as positive. Maybe if I've got, no, x is negative. I want this to be negative and large. Oh, I'm so confused. I'm so confused. All right. Um, well, I, I mean, I, I know what to do in this question. I can, I can handle it. So I guess I really am engaging strategy number one, which is engage in successful flailing. I'm definitely flailing right now. Um, I guess I'm just having trouble trying to think through the positive and negatives of this when it's just a mixture of stuff on the, on the, the top in particular. Um, so my impulse now is to wonder, OK, if I'm struggling with that, is there a way to rewrite that? Well, actually, there's one way. I can see one thing to do. Um, divide throughout by x. So it would be x over x is 1 plus y over x. And I guess to make this as big as possible, I need to make this as big as possible, but it's just 1 plus something. So let me focus on that. Can I make that as big as possible? Because if so, then I'm good. OK, this seems more manageable. y is definitely positive. x is definitely negative. I feel like I can figure out what makes this as large as possible add one to it, and then that's the largest possible value of that one. So I'll stop there for the moment, but think through this yourself. Try to get the biggest possible value of this by just thinking through it, what it has to be, and then let's compare answers. Have a look at the essay that goes with the video, and we'll just see where we're at if we got to the same spot in the end. I think we will be. Cool. All right. Thanks so much. Thanks for watching. For more Curriculum Inspirations material, go to our website. Lots of great stuff there.